Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the Good News Podcast. And as you can see, or, or, or as you will hear, um, this is a this is a different one. This is a one-off. Uh, usually, uh, uh, most times I have an interview, sometimes even more than one person, and and we talk together about a topic. Today, we're dialing it back a little bit. We're we're getting real around something that I really believe, in, and our team here really believes, is important for us to talk about, especially at, at Christmas time. And, and that is the reality of pain. And where do we find God in the midst of that very real pain, that brokenness that can be so real? You know, Christmas time, like it is, it, it's 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 amazing because there's these two dichotomies, if you will, um, all this action, all this activity. Um, some people, as you've heard the last uh, two episodes on the Good News podcast, some people absolutely love Christmas, like love it. They love the traditions, they love the lights and the trees and the decorations and the baking and getting family together and all of that. And 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 yet there's another group of people who, who probably, if you're not one of them, or if there isn't a piece of this as part of your reality, as well as we talk about it, you you know someone for whom this is a terrible time, actually. And I don't mean to be depressing. I just want to, we just want to be real with, with this one. Like for some people, the Christmas season is is the worst season of the whole year because everybody else, so it seems, is sky high, is living the dream, if you will. Um, so excited about Christmas. And, and when you're living in a place of brokenness and pain, you can just feel more isolated and alone than ever before. You, you can feel like no one actually knows about you, let alone what your situation is or your circumstances are. And, and so want to, in this episode today, it's going to be a little shorter, um, wanna, but want to dial it back a little bit and drill down into this reality that for some people, Christmas can be a really, really difficult time. And hope that this might speak to you if that's your situation. Or, my goodness, if there's somebody who you know in a situation like this, for whom Christmas is a difficult season, a dark season, Maybe, maybe as you think about people, you're thinking about somebody who, who has already said to you, I just can't wait for Christmas to be over, and we haven't even gone through it yet. Maybe you want to share this, this podcast, this conversation with them, so that they know that they're not alone, so that they know that, that we are aware of this reality, and that this Christmas story, the good news that God has come, that's what we celebrate at Christmas, that that actually is good news for them too. In, in fact, maybe, maybe better, even better news for them. So the way I want to go at this uh, is through a, a song. I'm not going to sing it because that's, if you know me, that's not, that's not in my gift mix for sure. But I'm going to, I'm going to just talk about this song and make some comments along the way, how it, how it relates to, I think, this topic of where is God in the midst of the reality of pain at Christmas time. And it's a song by a guy named Stephen Curtis Chapman. If you haven't heard of him, please look him up. He's, 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 phenomenal. He is a star in the Christian worship and Christian music world, has been for, for many years. But Stephen Curtis Chapman himself experienced trauma and pain in his own life. Uh, he, he, they, he and his wife lost their five-year-old daughter in, in, a, in a terrible tragedy. And uh, out of that, he's written many songs, including this one, that really speaks to that, that helps people find hope and, 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 and healing in the midst of the pain and the, the challenges in, in their lives. And, and this song, I, I just, it's funny how God works, isn't it? Like maybe that's a piece we could, we could chat about that for a moment here. How, how does God work? You know, more and more for me, it's a, it's a mystery. I just want to give thanks and praise for the way God does work. I, I'm blown away that when I pay attention, if you will, when I, when I slow down enough to just even see my life and reflect on my life, it's amazing the way I see God at work all the time, all the time. So this was a podcast topic that we had we had talked about as a team here uh, over the last few weeks. And to be honest, I was still kind of wrestling with how do how are we gonna how are we gonna get at that? How, how are we gonna I mean have this kind of a conversation? And then I was driving the other day and and I I heard this song called uh, Christmas Cards uh, on the radio by Stephen Curtis Chapman. I thought, oh, this is it. This is this is a way to kind of speak into this and talk about this and work ourselves through this. So um, thank you, God, praise God, for this song and for Stephen Curtis Chapman and his family, who obviously are still working through the realities of, of pain and suffering, um, but in a very hopeful, uh, hope-filled kind of way. And you catch that in, in, the, in this song. So, so it starts off, 
I think I passed you on the busy sidewalk last night. I think I caught the sadness in your eyes. While everybody sings their happy Christmas songs tonight, all you want to do is cry. Like, isn't that, that's what I just described earlier, that we, we are going through a season here as far as the Christmas time when it seems like the whole world is, is singing songs and, and busy, busy, busy with all these traditions. And some people are, are broken, are at home alone, are, are crying, literally crying themselves to sleep at night because of the, the challenges that they, they're experiencing in, in life right now. For some people, it could be the loss uh, of, a, of a loved one. I know um, when we lost our son years ago, uh, just the, the, the first few Christmases in particular were, were so hard because you everything is exponential. You just experience things at Christmas time in an exponential kind of way. And so we missed them all the time, but around Christmas Eve, even more. And I, I know for people who, who maybe are watching or listening to this and you, 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 you miss, we miss the, our loved ones who, who have passed away in, a, in an even greater way at, at Christmas time. When you go to sit down around the Christmas table, um, it does, it feels like it literally feels like there's an empty chair, like, like there's somebody who should be in that chair. And, and, and it's true, um, there, there is. And that's the, that's the, that's the reality of, of loss and how that gets even even more magnified at, at Christmas time. And so some of us may be experiencing that. Some of us may have relationship breakdowns. Uh, I, I'm amazed at, at just how really, really good people um, experience relationship breakdown within families. Sometimes they feel like they're the only ones, but they're not. It, it's it's more prevalent than than we realize. We don't we don't like to talk about it because it's it's just it's hard and it's 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 again like this song says it it, it it's deeply sad uh, to us. But it, it's it's there and again at Christmas time it's just it's just all the more magnified when all these families are getting together and and planning their their get-togethers and their family dinners and their their times together. And, and when you have a, a family member that you don't speak to or, or that isn't a part of your life currently, uh, it's just, it, it's really hard. Um, I love this line. I think I caught the sadness in your eyes. I guess my hope, our hope with the Good News Podcast in this particular episode is that you really would know that, that you're not alone, that, that we, we see the sadness in your eyes. And more importantly, that God sees that, that sadness in, in your eyes as well. And, and is desiring to, to come in a way that even, and especially now in the midst of this pain, your reality brings a sense of, of hope and, and, and presence and, and peace uh, in a way that, that only God could, could bring. For, for some of us, it could be simply the, the stress and, and the busyness of, of this season. I, I know um, that would be one that I could raise my hand for. I, I often find that as we um, move into the Christmas season, even before I get started, like, oh, there's just so many things that, that have to get done. And I, I can find myself um, really, really worried a, about trying to fit them all in. And, and then uh, Christmas becomes a, like a checklist just to try to get, get through. And that, that may not be as, as deep, if, if you will, as, as having lost a loved one or having broken relationships but, but it can be hard. And, and this pandemic, man, like everything is more complex because of it. And so it, it adds on stress. And so for some, you know, boy, the, the happiest time of year? No, like you might be saying Christmas is, is the time of the year that stresses me out the most. And, and again, that's, that's very real. And I, what I love about this song is it says that, that we, we know that, we see that, and God sees that too. And so let, let's carry on with, with this, um, this beautiful song that Chris, Stephen Curtis Chapman has, has written. It says, Christmas lights and decorations everywhere you turn, but all you feel inside is dark and gray. There may be joy for all the world, but is there any joy for you? Don't you ask that self sometimes? Like, boy, those people seem to have it all together. They got the perfect Christmas going on. They they got their lights up and they got their tree up and they got their gifts wrapped. And like it's December 22nd and you haven't even started yet. Or, or you don't even have the gumption to do it. Like you just kind of look around and think, man, uh, they got a lot of joy over there, but not in this not in this camp, not around this person. And, and just so real. And I love this. Here it goes. It kind of turns a corner here a little bit, if you will. Hold on, hold on. 
Love is looking for a way. Hold on, I believe it's why love came. And this is where Stephen Curtis Chapman is referring to the birth of Jesus, to Christmas, to, to the miracle of God coming, putting on human flesh, being born in a, a, as a baby in a barn in Bethlehem that would transform and change the world forever. That's what we celebrate at Christmas time. But as we've talked about in the podcast over the last couple of weeks, as we've tried to, again, go a little deeper and look a little further, what does that even mean? What does that really, really mean? Well, what it means is what this says here, that love has come. God is love. God is love. And Christmas, we celebrate that God has come in a very unique way, that God has become incarnate. That means put on flesh, taken on flesh, made himself human to be that close to you and me. And that's love. There's love all over that. There's love behind that. And there's love that is celebrated at Christmas time, no matter what our circumstances are. And maybe that's the best we can do, that in the midst of the pain of Christmas, we can experience that love, to know that we're not forgotten, to know that God does see us, sees us even in our pain, and that this love that comes down, comes to us, rises up among us at Christmas time, is for all of us, especially for those who find themselves broken and in pain. One more section here. He goes on to say, for everyone who's been left standing on the outside looking in, everyone with dreams that never will come true, when the story of your life gets rewritten overnight, well, this is a part of the Christmas story too. And I believe God knows and he's right there with you. That's part of what Christmas means too, that God is with us. God literally came in Jesus. And when Jesus was born, he was given the name Emmanuel. Emmanuel literally means God with us. And so when our life is turned upside down like that, like it can be, like it has been for, for maybe some of us who are listening or watching this today, or people who we know, or maybe, maybe will one day down the road to know that Christmas is actually meant to be a time where we experience something that meets us in the midst of that life turning upside down, deep pain, reality of brokenness. brokenness. That's partly why God came. He says, I'm sending you this Christmas card to let you know somebody loves you. And I'm singing you this little song to let you know you're not alone. I'm going to read that one again because I think that's a great place to close here today. So I'm sending you this Christmas card to let you know somebody loves you. And I'm singing you this little song to let you know you're not alone. That's Christmas, friends. God coming to know, to, for us to know that we're loved, that we're not alone, that whatever we're facing, as hard as it might be, that God is being born even in the midst of that, and that God will see us through <laughs> and love us through. Love to pray for you as we close. And part of our prayer today, if you would, would also be that as Stephen Curtis Chapman took the pain that, that he and his family have experienced, and our God is somehow using that pain to try to bless and help others, that maybe if you're in a place of pain, maybe there's someone who you might reach out to who also is struggling. And as you do that, sometimes that's the way God works too, that you find healing and you find hope as you, as you do that, as you reach out, as you send a Christmas card, uh, as you write a song, as you text somebody, as you bake something for someone. Those, those are ways that actually God can continue to be born among us and that God's love can still be shown today just like it was on that first Christmas. Let me pray for you as we close. And just thanks again for being a part of the, the Good News podcast today. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we, we recognize that, that for many people, Christmas is, is not necessarily a, a good time, that it's a, a difficult time, a time where, where people can be in pain and, and feel more alone than, than ever because of all the things going on or, around them. And so we pray for your continued coming, that people, especially in those kinds of situations, would know that they're loved, 
that they would know that part of this story means that you have come, that you are with us, that you are with them, and that that would give them something to hold on to, that you are God who has come for them to bring healing and hope to this world. And we all, as we conclude here today, we all have the opportunity to share this love with others, some maybe who are in deep pain themselves, that we would be a part of bringing (laughs) this love to planet Earth this Christmas season in whatever ways you enable and lead us to do. So for all of this and more, we give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, friends, thank you again for joining us on the Good News Podcast. Um, can't wait for, for next week. I invite you to, to join us then as we have some guests looking back over the year, as we reflect on 2020, and then that'll move us into one, the beginning of January. We're gonna talk about setting goals and making the most of 2022. But thanks again for joining us today on the on the Good News Podcast. Great to, great to be with you.